now below 50,000 after comments from Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen calling the cryptocurrency inefficient. Yellen also said the Treasury could be looking into more regulations for Bitcoin. And of course, then there's Elon Musk, who bought it and then said it was too pricey. What do you make of this volatility? And are you going to buy what Dennis is selling? <laughs> Yeah, I think bottom line is Bitcoin is absolutely a mania now. And I think Jenny Yellen's comments are like the most obvious comments of the year. Yes, we know it's extremely inefficient. I can't buy anything with Bitcoin. And the numbers are getting really crazy right now. And if you look at that 1.5 billion that Tesla bought, hypothetically or theoretically, it's up about, you know, he's doubled his money on that trade. That's more profits than Tesla made last year selling electric vehicles, <laughs> you know, in a currency that literally you can't buy anything with unless it's illicit finance, which you can't trace. The other crazy stat is on Monday, the total market cap of Bitcoin was a trillion dollars. Now, to put that in perspective, you could buy the entire energy sector in the United States with all the Bitcoin right now, which I would argue is probably the greatest trade you could possibly make. Because what Dennis Gartman just said, and he's been saying for months, is we we're warning about inflation. Inflation's here. So if inflation's here, energy is probably one of the best inflation hedges you can possibly have in your portfolio right now. Um, if you look at it historically in the 70s when inflation went through the roof, the energy sector became yeah. the largest component of the S&P 500. So, I, you know, if you look at it right now specifically, you know, I have to think at some point here, you know, this this house of cards we call Bitcoin is going to be in trouble. It's not an inflation hedge. In fact, when inflation went up in 2018, we did have a spike in inflation. Bitcoin went down 40 percent. Mm. <laughs> it's not going to protect you. So I think at this point, you've got to start thinking about inflation in your portfolio. The anti-inflation trade is tech stocks. It's bonds. Bonds are down almost 10 percent this year. And it's going to be things like Bitcoin that have no real value. Okay.